another student of mine, uh, Magdalena Javad Fleischer, um, she was looking at co inoculation with Simon Septoria Tritici. This is at the moment the name for a Septoria. Simon Septoria Tritici and Microdochum species. There we combine the two species in leaf inoculation. The right is Acteur, quite known. And here you see the, very nicely the difference between the Septoria infection and the Microdochum infection. So if you infect and after two weeks, you look at it, this is the non inoculated control or mock inoculated control. And um, this is Simon Septoria Tritici. After two weeks, you see nothing. No symptoms, no nothing. Microdochum already started to eat up the leaves, especially in the parts where there is, um, this is Ega, where it's in, um, system that's used for Simon Septoria infection, um, working quite nicely for Microdochum. And in the combination, um, well, it's pr you see it's pretty much the effects can be more related to what's happening from the Microdochum side to what's happening to the Simon Septoria side. If you wait another week, well, finally, you get some signs of infection from Simon Septoria, so th it worked, but finally you get a little bit. The Microdochum infected leaves are already gone, and there seems to be some, s some competition here. So it's not that one needs the other, um, but if they're co-inoculated, the rather is something like a, like a competition that we see.